Smile and breathe deeply, boys and girls. This is Frank Beccaro from Dragonflow Yoga, and today we'll be making the second part of our spaghetti squash. So, we'll be needing an oven pan, half a spaghetti squash. This is the second half of the half we used last time. One cup of tomatoes and tomato sauce, olive oil, garlic, teaspoon, salt, and pepper. This recipe is unbelievably fast to make, but there will be a waiting time. So it's about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. But watch, the mise en place, the preparation takes like two minutes. So you take the olive oil first thing. You're gonna pour some in the tomato sauce and you're gonna put some in the pan. Then in the tomato sauce, you put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, Take a little bit of salt and pepper and pour it into the spaghetti squash itself. Take about three teaspoons of garlic and you put it in the sauce. And you kind of mash it just for a bit, not very long. This is going to taste almost like one of those paisan kind of spaghetti, uh, spaghetti dishes except it's gluten-free because we're using the squash instead of actual spaghetti. By now the sauce is done, you take it, you pour it in. Next thing, we take the oven pan, we spread the oil. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just so the spaghetti squash can sit on top and not get burnt. And we transfer, this, we transfer the spaghetti squash from the plate into the pan. I know it's not paleo. If you want to have a little cheat, you could put some parmesan or some mozzarella. If you want to keep it paleo, don't put anything. Just keep it as it is. It already looks delicious. Let me give you a little aerial view. Look how beautiful that is. From here, you take aluminum fork. You cover it. Set the oven at about 350 and come back in about an hour and 15, an hour and a half. I'm going to go to the gym now, do my shift, and this will be ready by the time I get back. See you guys in a bit. So, it took a little longer than projected. It took about two hours, but look how beautiful that is. Like I said, you could add some mozzarella or Parmesan, but that wouldn't make it very paleo. So I let you decide. Feel free to visit us at www.dragonflow-yoga.com. Have a beautiful day and namaste. If you guys have any questions, please email me. I love you very much and remember to always eat well.